What's up YouTube, Doswell Beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right, today what I'm going to do is I'm explaining what submix and um, the return sends are. One of my... um community members ask me what is the difference between a submix and a return and today I'm gonna show you how I use it and what I use it for what I use both of them for all right so let's get it let's go let's go all right so we in the MPC right now right so right now let's put them up you have your submix and you have your return and you have your programs so right now I don't have any programs up but when I add a program it will pop up right here on the side this is the submix this is the return in a nutshell the submix right if you build in the melody say you build in the melody and you have four instruments if you send all four instruments to a submix, submix one, it will come inside this submix one right here, right? And whatever VST you have on here, it will affect that plugin. And it will be whatever the wetness of the plugin is, it will be that. That's in a nutshell for the submix. A nutshell for the return is whatever effect you have on the return and you put the the one of say you send one of your um instruments to the return you have a choice if you, if the if the if the effect that's on the return is all the way wet and you send a track to it it don't have to be all the way wet you can use these buttons right here to put as much wetness you want on it right so I'm gonna run through the video and show you I'm gonna just make me a, make make a quick instance of three sounds all right and then we can go ahead and see how to do it let's go ahead all right so that was the mini grand right And let's add another one. Let's add another ins another uh, VST. Um, let's add like a lead or something like that. It's not about the sounds. It's just. Alright, so now we have all three of our what's this? Um let's expand and what was this one? It's electric, right? Alright, so let's go here. Alright. So let's work with um let's work with the submix first. So here go all three of my programs right here. If I want to send all of them to one to just I want to make all the sounds have this one effect. So I will do this, send each of them to submix. I will come here, the drop down, hold on, the drop down right here where it say output for the mini grand, submix one, submix one, submix one. So each of them now, the mini grand, the electric and the expand, they are all going to here, right? Listen, you see it start working? All right. So now any effect that I put on here, it will affect this. No matter what the wetness is, you can't change that individually. Right? So if I put uh let's say a 
let's say um let's do a reverb right if i play so all the sounds is getting that reverb so no matter what effect that i change all three of them is getting affected So that's that, right? Let's mute that. If we mute it, you don't hear nothing from none of them because everything is going here. So mute it. All right. So now what we could do is we could turn th this off and then it will still play, but without the reverb, we just turn it off. Now let's hide the submix and let's go to return. If I put the same, if I put the same effect, hold on, let me close it. Let me open back up the submix and I'm going to drag this and drop it on the, on a return. All right. So we're going to mute this return, mute the submix. Here go to return now. The same, same VSD with the same settings, right? If we turn it on, it's on now on the return. We're doing the return now is on. If we put play, you don't hear nothing, right? So remember, now to get the effect to affect any each individual one, we are on return one. You have return one. If it was on return return two, this is for return two. If you have return three, this is return three. If you have return four, this is for return four. So for the mini grand, let's turn it up. So now only, only the mini grand is getting that, that reverb. And the thing that I like about the return, I can turn down, if I don't want it all the way full to 100, I can always put it at half or, you know what I mean, turn it to 25% or whatever, right? So only the mini grand is getting affected now. now if I want the electric to get affected, I'll come here to the electric and turn it up. So now both of them is getting affected and not this and not the expand. So if I turn all of these off, now back to regular, let's turn expand on by itself. So, so now just that is playing, right? And you can take out, if you don't want a lot of it in there, if you don't want it to be too reverby, you take it out. So you hear it only a little bit. Now for the electric, we'll turn it all the way up. And then for the mini grand, we'll put a little, about half, let's put half. All right, so that's just, that's how I use it in my submix. And you can use it, for, you can use the submix for vocals. You put all vocals on the submix so you can put that auto tune or whatever on there and then if you want like reverb and everything or you send it to um, a return channel all right so that's the end of the video man thanks for watching see you in the next one all right let's go let's get it